I am very prideful of where I come from, so I just kind of always have that chip on my shoulder that I'm from a small town. I'm from a little pebble in the middle of nowhere. So the story is my sister, she was five, she's a year older, Sabrina, and she was old enough to play t-ball. But me, I wasn't old enough to play t-ball, but I wanted to do everything older sis was doing. So I was crying to my parents like, oh, I want to play, I want to play. And my dad was like, I'll take you to the field and we'll go hit every night if you want to go. Just ask me and we'll go. And every night after that, I was like, all right, all right, dad, let's go. All right, dad, let's go. And every night after work, my dad would go and he'd take me to the park. We'd just hit for hours and pick up balls, hit again, shag them, pick up balls, all that, all night. That's kind of my earliest memory. And I feel like you don't find a lot of four-year-olds that just want to go hit balls all day. I loved it from a young age and I'm going to love it in my old age too. I started a dream that softball could be something big, probably around high school, I would say. I didn't really develop into the player that I am today until my later high school years. I feel like it took me kind of a while to get myself going and really believe in myself. And then come like junior, senior year, I want to be the best. So it was just the dream of playing college softball and then the dream of I want to be the best ever. My recruiting journey was kind of a little bit different. I actually was committed to Cal Berkeley, talking with my parents about it, and I was like, I think I'm gonna decommit and just kind of see what's out there. And then my second call was Oklahoma, and I was like, ooh, I like talking to Coach Gasso. She's a cool lady. Committed on my 18th birthday, and I haven't looked back since. A lot of people do doubt themselves and it's because I feel like they tie so much of their lives into the sport that they play. Myself included, I used to do the same thing. I just really doubted myself my sophomore year. The only way that I'm going to have a good day is if I do good on the field and it should never be like that. I just feel like sometimes you get lost in the game that you forget like your actual person off the field really diving into yourself and really loving yourself is kind of what I did my senior year and oh my god I had a blast my senior year I enjoyed every moment that I had because I was just truly happy and truly content with me and who I was as a person and that just kind of transferred over into the field I was just like I'm out here I'm doing the thing I'm enjoying the moment and um, whatever happens happens and a lot of good things ended up happening my dad knew that I was going to be the best. So we were just watching um, just a game on Pac-12 Network, but someone had just hit a home run and my dad literally turns to me and goes, you know, you're going to be the home run queen one day. And I was like, yeah, OK, all right. And he was like, no, you're going to be the home run queen one day. And I was like, yeah, OK, all right. I can't even put in a word sometimes like it it's storybook how it happened hit 95 in Houston and I felt like it was gonna happen in Palm Springs ended up getting walked to that whole weekend and then we fly to Hawaii after that and I'm like all right it'll happen if it happens it happens whatever and we get to Hawaii I do the clinic that we had there which was the same field my dad we would go and hit balls at so if you stood on home plate and you looked into right center, a hundred yards past the bushes was where our house was. The beach right across the road was where my dad proposed to my mom. It's where me and my older sister took our graduation pictures. Like that beach just means a lot to us. Literally full circle. We play University of Hawaii and I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna pitch to me, we'll see. Ends up pitching to me. And then it was my last step out of the day. Count is 2-0 and I'm just looking for something hard in the zone. I saw it come in. And I was like, okay, good one, hits it. And then immediately I knew that it was gone. I really don't hear anything, but I'm just sprinting. Everyone's going crazy. Finally make it to home. I'm mobbed by my teammates. And then 
the University of Hawaii coach comes over, gives me a lay and was like, congrats, like, this is so special that you got to do it here. And then I look up into the stands, my mom's got mascara all down her face, my dad's high-fiving everyone. All my family that had never got to watch me play in person was there. All the coaches that had ever coached me in my life was there. And then I got a standing ovation from my home state and it was just so sweet. It was so sweet. I'm kind of like shaky talking about it, but it was truly probably top two best moments of my life. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. This game has taken me to places that I couldn't even imagine. And I want girls to truly feel that love for the game because there's no limit to what you can do with softball. 